Okay, everybody. I got so excited with my uh, analysis on the pound, I forgot to uh, come over here and, and talk about the U.S. equities markets. Uh, this is actually TradeStation. Um, it's a very popular platform. Uh, can be pretty expensive, though. Uh, it, it's, it runs uh, anywhere from 200 a month, or if you have a futures account uh, and your volume is high enough, they will give you the platform for free. Um, I use it for um, the futures and equity sides of things. Uh, I've actually, uh, just in, in the interest of full disclosure here, I, I have uh, gotten back uh, into the futures market because I, I think I see a lot of opportunity here. And so let me talk about some of the reasons why. Uh, you can see this is the Russell 2000. And the Russell 2000 uh, is a great representative uh, slice, I think, of the U.S. equities markets. You're talking about the 2,000 biggest companies in the U.S., um, as opposed to say the s p five hundred now let's talk about some of the some of the differences here uh, and this this does give get a little bit into what we're going to talk about at the live event, but I think you need to be armed with this information first of all, let's talk about the Dow thirty now you have to remember that the Dow thirty changes over time now let's talk about how they change it in a in a just a general sense the way the, the way Dow Jones changes the index is by removing the weak stocks and putting in the strong stocks. Now, if you think about that for a moment, what happens to the Dow over time when all you're doing is taking a representative sample of the best stocks? Well, you're going to have uh, an index chart which is essentially continuing to go up because it's representing the 30 uh, best stocks in a wide variety of industries, technology, publishing, banking, uh, transportation, utilities, finance, etc. Well, there, there's a problem with that. It doesn't give you a real snapshot of what the market is doing, but what have we been conditioned to do? We've been conditioned, for the most part, to say, you know, oh, the Dow was up today. That means the market was up. Well, I can show you plenty of scenarios where the Dow 30 could be up as a whole, but 16 or 17 out of the 30 were down on the day, three stocks were mixed, and the rest were up quite a bit. So you can get a very distorted view of the marketplace when you only rely on an index. Um, so I like to look at the Russell 2000 to kind of give me a comparison. Okay, and let's just very quickly uh, take a look at what's going on here. Okay, this, the highs over here on the Russell 2000 represent essentially the all-time highs. Uh, the market was making record highs back here in April uh, and into July. It had a dramatic decline, several large gaps you can see here, uh, which has since been closed. Today was, in a, was, a, was a very uh, uh, bearish day, down over 10 points. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, these are continuous contracts, by the way. Uh, what that means, in fact, they're continuous daily contracts. So I'm not looking at the overnight session uh, for Globex. Uh, I'm not looking at just the pitch rating, and these are also the mini contracts. Uh, you can see here the S&P 500 was down 7.5 points. The difference here was it actually pushed up to a new high. Uh, we'll go over here, and we'll look at the YM, which is the Dow. I don't know why I have uh, don't have a whole lot of data here. Hang on, let me try and refresh it. Interesting. I uh, must be having a slight issue with my data. Yes, you can see there's a huge gap missing. Um, okay, there must be just a, 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 some kind of missing data here with the Dow, so we're not going to get a very good, uh, very good view of what's going on here. But um, here we go. Here's the uh, here's the the Dow index, and you can see here this the Dow actually went uh, to a much higher high. It broke out above the high, uh, and then and then retested.